Okay, some of the things you can start off doing in MapMaker's Toolkit is click on anywhere in the world and you can zoom in all the way to one of the states like New York. Uh, you click the back button, it'll bring you back. Um, if you click on current maps, you can type in anywhere in the world, such as Spain. Click display and it will bring you to that place in the world. So here's Spain. You can also click on layers and click cities, rivers, and river names, and it'll bring that up on the map. If you click on historical maps, you can go to any year, such as the 1800s. And if you click on the United States in 1800, it will bring you to that map. So we will just add in some layers here, the cities and the rivers and river names again. You can also go to different dates like 1868. If you click on theme maps, you can go to population density. So we'll click on North America and this shows the population density of North America. Uh, the legend shows the different colors and what they represent. You can also click on the population density of South America and compare it to the other map. The last thing you can do with this is you can click anywhere in the world to edit it. So we will go back to New York and some of the things that you can do with this are um, put stamps in such as the map of New York. So we're just going to drag that over. Other things you can do, uh, you can put circles on the map. So just here's a circle. You can also fill in whatever shapes that you put. So we'll fill that in blue. And you can also draw lines on the map. So this is straight lines. And if you don't want straight lines, you can also do freehand. So Using MapMaker's Toolkit in the classroom. One of the things you can do is comparing historical maps. If you go to historical maps and location and scroll down, you can choose a bunch of different places. We'll show South America in 500 and hit display, and it looks like that. And then you know, for comparison, you can show it again in 1650. see how the political boundaries have changed. And then if you hit historical maps again, you can fast forward another couple hundred years, and that will show South America in 1824, and you can see it's changed a lot again. Then if you go to a map of Spain, for example, you can ask students as a method of expression to mark in something like the capital of Spain so they can use the star stamp for that and they position it where they think Madrid is and then use the pencil tool pick shape that they want the pencil to write in and then they can write Madrid there then they can compare it to an actual map of Spain and see how close they were. What makes MapMakers not a good tool? One of the big problems with MapMakers Toolkit is when you zoom in, you can only zoom in to a certain point. So if you wanted to see like regional things of certain places like Sudan and Brazil, you know, there's not much you can really see. There's not much detail on the maps at all.
What is the relative advantage of MapMaker's Toolkit? You can draw directly on the map as opposed to using a textbook in which you would not be able to draw on the map. Um, on a chalkboard it would be difficult to draw that whole country such as Spain. You can also add in different symbols to represent what that country has such as the animals, such as a bull. You can also add in crops as a symbol to show what's the main um, food grown. What problem does MapMaker solve? It has different themes for maps. And once again, you're able to um, draw directly onto the maps. And for this map, you're able to pick the vegetation. And you're able to add in which uh, specific symbols you want such as an apple. Also an orange. Also a pineapple. There are states in the United States that um, have these symbols that specifically relate to those states like um, New York State is known as the Big Apple. So a symbol of the apple in a certain area, you would automatically assume that that is New York. which is the northeastern part of the United States. And Florida is known to be the orange state, the sun, sunshine state. So an orange on that peninsula is obviously the state of Florida. And also California is known to, for its oranges. And Hawaii is tropical, so a pineapple would represent that beautiful tropical state, Hawaii. So that is everything that MapMaker's Toolkit can do.